In July 2022, the Permanent Secretary and Secretary to the Treasury, Ramadan Gowi, sacked a total of 110 non-compliant accounting officers for failure to submit the district budget estimates, work plans, and procurement plans on the integrated financial management system for the financial year 2022-2023, thus breaching the Public Finance Management Act of 2015. In 2023, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Taewa, announced that accounting officers would have not accounted for the public funds will be held accountable for any shortfalls in the financial year 2023-2024 budget. If someone does not qualify to be an accounting officer, it means that person cannot keep finances of the country safe. So why keep them in positions of responsibility? Where is the gap? Is it in the row? If it's in the row, then we amend the row. If you are dropped as an accounting officer, we know it's a disciplinary measure and a harsher sentence is given. Public finance management is the backbone of national development and the world's fastest growing economies have placed PFM at the forefront. It is for this reason the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Uganda has held the inaugural Public Finance Management Conference to strengthen public finance management for sustainable development and tackle the challenges affecting optimal utilization of public resources. Management is the way governments manage public resources, definitely, including collecting revenue and controlling expenditure, accounting for both revenue and expenditure each year, and also reporting to the various accountable institutions on the performance of revenue and expenditure each year. The efforts government has made in terms of uh, you know, driving public financial management, the systems that have been put in place, the automation. But we are saying, how can we enhance this so that we can actually be a center of excellence where other countries can actually come and learn from us? The introduction of the IFMS system, particularly for local government accounting officers, has enabled the government to create more accurate and timely information, directly increasing accountability and the fight against corruption. Nonetheless, there are still holes that must be filled. Some local governments have been under budgeting, they have been underestimating uh, uh, local revenue collections and they 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 send back this money when they cannot access it because you can only access money where you have a budget what is the procedure where the system brings in automation in as there is no manual intervention required in any of these things all you do is you input the data and it is transmitted automatically and the recipient gets the money there is no manual intervention. There is nothing like, um, I've come to chase my payment. So it even eliminates the tendencies of corruption. And of course, it leaves a trail. A trail means that a, a particular transaction can be traced from the beginning to the end. So it is a very powerful system. It has worked so well. We are so happy with it. But like with anything, there is always room for continuous improvement. The economy grew by 7.5% in the first quarter of the fiscal year, and the Ministry of Finance projects that it will grow by 5.3% in the fiscal year 2022-2023 and 6% in the fiscal year 2023-2024, necessitating additional action from the accounting body through prudent management of public funds. First of all, the, 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 the PIP at that particular, particular time, then NDP-1, now NDP2, which has been midterm reviewed, and also saw quite a number of things that require that the PFM reforms must respond to the need for alignment in that direction. And now we are going to gear ourselves to prepare for NDP3, and each stage certainly has got a number of things that inform the need for the reforms in the PFM system. This accounting stakeholder engagement aims to unite public sector players in order to share, re-empower and advance the social and economic advancement of the nation. Infrastructure, healthcare, security and education are examples of public goods that are best delivered by the government and public authorities must be held accountable for public spending. Naomi Mtumba, Smart24 TV, Business Today.